one of the things I think that's probably going to stick around, unless they find some way to fucking tax it to the hill, is work from home. So I can't see... So if I take my job as an example, right, um, obviously it's different for the fireman, and it's a bit different for my missus because she works in property, so there's a bit of, like, trekking around yeah, right. to properties and stuff. But for people like me... It's like the idea of trekking back into the office and spending like 400, 450 quid a month on train fare pointlessly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. To lose four hours of your day, to be knackered, spend less time with your kids, and, and uh, like productivity wise in the office, to be shitter. <laughs> Uh, and then for the, like if I if I don't if I just work from home then that's one fewer seats in the office and then let's say ten of us work from home then that's a smaller office space that they then have to rent so it makes sense for the for the company as well I think throughout this whole year everyone's seen how it actually doesn't really affect the productivity at all of these businesses nope. so I nope. just wonder like I mean how the fuck are they going to persuade three million people to get back on the train back into london every day yeah no i wasn't really thinking about the working from home and i was just thinking about sort of social distancing but mm. yeah you're right and i think many companies you know have already just gone right working from home i know uh the civil service is um looking at it in more detail we i mean we already had like you know future ways of working where we were desk sharing etc yeah um but yeah, so in, ter in terms of my working day, seeing you know, I don't actually physically work with viruses anymore, I can work from home, mm. that's the beauty. Yeah. Um, I would see me, yeah, doing a mixture of going into the lab and being at home. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, just, yeah, I don't have to, like, so when I lived in London, I had to commute and that was quite a long time and everything that you've just explained. Yeah. But I'm lucky enough now that I can walk or go on my electric scooter, like the massive knob I am. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, for me, so I've been doing this since March. I do miss people. Uh, you know, when everyone um, has been, like, saying on social media and stuff, like, I found out that I'm a introverted extrovert or i'm an introvert and i'm definitely an introvert i have found out that i'm very much an extrovert uh and yeah, yeah i i just miss people i miss yeah you know as i'm sure you do i miss either standing in an office getting people to listen to me talk um or standing on a stage and getting people to listen to me talk and smiling and then getting validation through that because that's the way my mind works so i do i do miss that and obviously you know i do zoom stuff and yeah but it's just it's it's not the same and i do i do really miss it and just as i'm sure everyone's feeling now it was fine well not fine in the summer but it was easier in the summer we're lucky enough to have a garden and i'm really mm. really massively into gardening but now i'm just like i'm in this open plan room in which i'm sat in all day every day yeah um and it's driving me bonkers um yeah. do you know what's funny right it's, here i am talking about all the benefits of working from home but i'm and which there the are same. many. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I love, love walking my son to school, um, and there's, I, I can't imagine a situation where I would go back to the office and and they say we're going to need you in at like eight a.m. every day, and then I miss that, and then I get home at fucking you know eight o'clock at night, and he's already in bed. Yeah. Like, to lose yeah, yeah, yeah. every day of the working week like that is that seems like a you know distant history to me now. Um, but I do miss the uh, there's there's like a romance to sort of you know I'm up early I see the sunrise I get on the train I've got my coffee I've got my paper I sit down I read the paper you know the hustle and bustle I get into the office I have a quick chat with my you know junior or mid level developer and um, you know then I sit down and we check the news quickly and then we crack on you know like there's a real social yeah element to it that I do miss and and especially then after the working day's done and you know jumping on a train and gigging and um uh we're gonna be in tears in a minute eh i know <laughs> i mean whether anyone else misses me doing all these that like i'm sure as soon as i started working from home people were like thank fuck that guy's i mean here. we've got a pandemic to pay the you know the price to pay is the pandemic but yeah. we don't have to see his little face anymore so every cloud <laughs> <laughs> um, I haven't ruled out that the pandemic <laughs> is actually a massive hoax and it's just a lot of people don't want to see me. 
I just don't think we'll ever know, to be honest with you. I just, even as a virologist, I don't think we'll ever know. No. Uh, we could, you know, yeah, we could sequence that virus. You might be in, in the face. Yeah. Yeah, I could. Who knows? I could be. Yeah.